going to Malaysia today. It's a little bit before 6.30 a.m. We scheduled our grab for 6.45, which we scheduled last night and just now got a driver for it. And it already says they're nearby. And we have not packed <laughs> or drank the coffee I just got. So we have some work to do. <laughs> In warm places, this is so hard to close. <laughs> usually, I can have all my taxes out <laughs> for travel days. That actually wasn't too bad. And with negative one minute to spare. Thank you so much. You're Thank you. Good morning. Our hotel made us to go breakfast, even though breakfast doesn't start for 10 more minutes. <laughs> for our flight. So <laughs> since we now have free food, we're just gonna sit 20 feet from the entrance of the airport and enjoy our, our hotel breakfast. <laughs> that was so nice of them to do that. Yeah, it's so unfortunate they were pulling out the curry as we were leaving. <laughs> oh well. We finished our first hotel breakfast and we still have 25 minutes until the lounge opens here. We're only gonna be able to stay in the lounge for like 30 minutes before our flight starts boarding. So hopefully it doesn't take us more than 25 minutes to get through security. <laughs> small airports so much. We got through there in like 15 minutes and just because my bag had to get rescanned and there's like eight gates as you can see right here and the lounge is right here. <laughs> so I don't think we're gonna have any problem running to our gate. The lounge opens in five minutes and then we have half an hour to enjoy it. missing the curry that he missed at our hotel. With our hoodies and not fancy clothes, we look so out of place in these lounges. What'd you get? Spaghetti. <laughs> How's your curry? Is it everything you wanted? Yep, we look like we belong. How's your hoodie taste? Thank you, Kokunga. Frequent than that, 
but of the other options here are every 60 minutes, every 50 to 85 minutes, and every 90 to 150 minutes. So I'm happy we're going where we're going. So if you end up taking public transportation here in Malaysia, definitely try and get ones when you get cash out because they do not accept non-exact change. Oh, he didn't? No, some, somebody just paid with a bunch of ones, so he was able to give us the back. But he didn't have any other than that. So, now we know. transport for a while. Oh, today's been a long day, a lot of uh, nausea. Neither of us can really remember what kind of accommodation we booked for tonight. We have directions to it, but we were kind of in a rush, I guess. I don't know what happened, but we realized today neither of us know what it looks like. So we're going to show you what it is, but it could be really good. It could be kind of a, a splurge for us, or it could be pretty, pretty not good. We'll pretty much both be seeing it. All of us will be seeing it for the first time at the yeah. same time. This by far has been the least we have planned getting to a country. We did not have any data when we got here. We did not have any cash, which I guess has been the case for a long time. We haven't had any cash getting to a place. We're very unprepared. I am like, I'm kind of expecting something to go wrong because we know nothing so far, but this has felt so comfortable. This has been so easy so far. Yeah. And we're. 10 minutes away from our hotel, so hopefully, that hopefully nothing is goes nice. wrong. We got upgraded, but I think she said double room, higher floor. So I don't think the room is actually upgraded, just less street noise, I'd imagine. Oh, maybe. But we'll see. Keep expectations low and maybe it'll... This elevator's really shaky. <laughs> don't do that, stop. <laughs> hmm. Oh, it's a little desk. Oh, oh you don't have a chair, but cool. at least you have a desk. Speed run because our phone's about to die. So, put in the key. Did it not like that? Did I do it too aggressively? Try clicking the switch. <laughs> well, hopefully we have power. Well, okay, we'll do this without power then. Check on that later. Honestly, this is probably too short for you, but like this is a pretty almost ideal standing desk for me since we don't have a chair for it. How's it been? Oh. This is so much firmer, but like more padded. I swear our last hotel that we were in, or it wasn't even a hotel, our last apartment that we were in for almost two weeks, you could feel the springs in the, bread, in the bed. So I'm so happy with this. Okay, did you show the views outside? Kind of. Get two windows that open, which I'm not gonna open too much because it's still raining really hard. A mini closet, which, it's always nice <laughs> with three hole hangers. <laughs> AC, which is being turned on right now because I'm sweating already. Oh wait, we don't have we don't have power. Okay. And then the very luxurious bathroom. Our favorite part of a bathroom. There's something to separate the shower and the toilet. It's really all we care about in bathrooms at this point. And no massive spiders like we had in Chiang Mai. We have power. I'm just stupid. There's an arrow. There's an arrow. I thought because our door was just this, like a scan to touch, so I thought the arrow was outdated, but no. The arrow is important. <laughs> I 
I got nervous for a second. I thought I wasn't going to turn back on. Last note that I didn't even see in the dark. We have a full-size mirror. Ah, we never have full-size mirrors, I feel like. So I think we found where we're gonna try to eat for dinner. It's a type of food that neither of us had heard of before. It's called nyanya, which I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but I Googled it. And when I searched for nyanya food, it comes up with Peranakan cuisine. It says the cuisine comes from the Peranakan's descendants of early Chinese migrants who settled in Penang, Malacca, Singapore, and India. So it's like a nice mix of all of those places and it's supposed to be very spicy yeah a lot of the reviews said it was very spicy maybe we can ask for less spice but i think it sounds great we want to try something new it seems like malaysia is a really good place to get this so you want to go yeah nyanya lotus nyanya kitchen nyanya is the food style let's try it this is so cute this is like this is an Wow. <laughs> this is so cute. Yeah, I love this place. Uh, this is acha acha. This is uh, like a uh, vegetable. Okay. Curry chicken. Okay. Uh, oh, oh. So, so we got one of all of like this whole so it's thing. So like pork and curry it's chicken, curry. vegetables. I forget. I don't and know. Rice. I don't know. I don't know what these are. And, and then, then we also he recommended asam uh, pan. Oh, I didn't ask for, I forgot to ask for a little spice. <laughs> we heard this place is pretty spicy. It's almost good. I guess we'll check back in when we... I may be crying the next time you see me. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Take a picture. Take a picture. Take a picture. Wow, this is incredible. Oh my god. So this is god. the platter. This looks so good. Oh, the curry chicken, I can't wait. Oh, oh this is gonna be how spicy is this? All I have is sauce from the curry. <laughs> spicy? This may be a rough dinner, but it smells and looks delicious. amazing. But it's gonna test our spice tolerances. It's really spicy. Tastes good though? <coughs> this just tastes totally different than any curry we had in Thai bear. Which I know makes sense because we're not in Thai <laughs> But that's the best I got. It's like... I don't know, you try it. You have, you have more curry than you Oh my gosh, how many tastes do you I don't really know what the difference is. Oh, it just tastes very savory, I feel like. Yeah, it's less. Oh, oh thank you. Oh it's, my gosh. It's almost simpler. I think there's less flavor going on, but it's a lot spicier. It's amazing, yeah, it's like super savory. Like, yeah, it just feels much simpler. It's really good. It's like so good. I love it. So, so far good on the Nyanya food? Is that what it was called? So far so good. I have no idea what vegetables I'm doing. Are these like peanuts on top of it? It looks like Yeah, maybe. Okay. It smells pickled. I think these are pickled. Oh, really? <laughs> this is all so good. Okay. Last one. I don't know how to eat this. I wish I could have a flavor to tell you. I really do. <laughs> That's so unique to me. That's so it's so interesting. I don't know, that one was not very spicy. It was just super, super flavorful, like a deep, kind of satisfying. Maybe one day we'll get good at these food reviews. Or not. I'm not. <laughs> I went to Google because I wanted to give a better review of that shrimp than what my vocabulary captured. It's called Asam Prawns, right? 
us on prawns, or tamarind prawns. It says the tamarind gives the prawns a subtle sourness that is not quite lemony and the tang of a sweet fruity vinegar. It's so good. It's delicious. I definitely recommend them, especially if you don't have high spice tolerance. Like there's no spice in that one. That's the least spicy one of these of these yep. little samples that we got. Oh, yep. so good. The vegetables do have a lot of spice. <laughs> Last thing for the night, and then we're going home and going to sleep. <laughs> but we decided to get some dessert. We got two black sesame mochis, which we've never tried. We have mochi a lot in the US, and this seems like it's going to be very different than what we're used to. It's so much more squishy and like not, not as firm <laughs> as we're used to. But let's see. It seems like it's like chocolate. Like, uh, mm. Whoa. Look at that. It's covered in peanuts. And there's just a teensiest bit of mochi, which I guess is why it's like squishier and less firm. It's just the mochi is a very thin layer, it seems. Like you couldn't tell. Yeah, there's very, very little mochi. And then I guess that's just the. Thank you so much. I guess it's just the black sesame. Not chocolate, <laughs> which makes sense. It's really good. No, I'm definitely glad we only got one each. We <laughs> <laughs> didn't give our mochi like that. <laughs> we should have gotten like ten. But I'm glad we only got one each because the flavor is super strong. And I feel like more than one would just be too much. But just one is a perfect amount. It's really good. Perfect way to end the meal. I feel like I'm really sugary and shaky. I feel like I just got a burst of energy. Or I'm delirious. That was so good. <laughs> that was a really successful first official meal. Yeah, I think I think this is gonna be a super awesome city, a super awesome country. I think there's gonna be so much amazing food to try and things to see. And we're but, here for a whole month, over a month. This is the longest we will have ever stayed in the country. And yeah, we know very little about it, so we have a lot of research to do. Yeah. But yeah, I think that's gonna be it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you wherever we are next in this country. <laughs>